Interesting. That is interesting. Really interesting. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's good Everybody that no. Everybody looks at me like I have no idea why. Yeah, I'm just well, like, come on, give yeah. us answers, Mark. Yeah. It's also interesting what's happening in our area, right? With yeah. the smoke and the heat. Yeah, just hot. So, uh, you know, I think more or less this will be our heat wave. Technically, it'll probably end today in that tomorrow we're going 88, although it's going to be a more humid 88. So whatever, it's going to feel hot again tomorrow, but it just won't be as hot as today. So 91 on Wednesday, 102 yesterday. That's the new record uh, for the date. And then today we were two degrees short of the record. We hit 95. It's the, I mean, weird to say it, but you can thank the fire smoke for the cooler weather today, I suppose. Uh, 88 degrees then tomorrow, so we should drop another seven degrees tomorrow. Now, humidity, uh, we know it's surging. There's a bunch of moisture in the air coming up the Columbia River right now, northwest and westerly wind. That should arrive in the metro area this evening, so I think dew points... I usually don't say dew point on TV, but the amount of moisture in the air do take quite a jump this evening. And tomorrow it's going to stay kind of humid. I mean, we're not talking like you're walking down Bourbon Street, um, you know, some late night in July in New Orleans. But the point is, uh, it's going to be more humid than what we have felt the last few days. So that 88 might feel more like about 92. Either way, it's going to feel hot tomorrow afternoon with some cloud cover, too. So tonight should be just about the same as last night, unless the cloud cover is really thick. And then, of course, we could be a little warmer than this. But uh, the point is, it'll be another warm night, and we'll start to see things cool off tomorrow. But look at all this smoke around the region. Now, I'm going to stop this at 10 a.m. This is some cloud cover west of the Cascades, some thin high clouds. We couldn't see them because there was smoke in the way. But then watch what starts to happen here. This is 1, 2 p.m. Then suddenly you see these clouds erupting in South Central Oregon. Watch what has happened since 2 p.m. Just bang, these thunderstorms are erupting all across South Central and Central Oregon. And the flow of air is like this. Our models have been relatively insistent saying, hey, uh, these probably don't make it over the Cascade Crest, but it's a pretty unstable atmosphere, which makes me think some of them will. In fact, some of them have made it over the crest half hour and uh, they're just to the northeast of Oak Ridge uh, southeast of you in Sweet Home by maybe 30 miles so I would not be shocked if we have a flash of lightning somewhere west of the Cascades tonight or a rumble of thunder it is a possibility there's a little wiggle in the flow down in here we call it an upper level low it's a hot atmosphere there's enough moisture there's enough lifting it could happen tonight in spots this is just one of our model forecasts. This one even hints, yeah, 3 a.m. here. It hints that something's up. Maybe could there be a sprinkle or a rumble of thunder? So we'll see. And then it's out of here. And then tomorrow's partly cloudy. I think we'll be around 90. Now, the big change on Sunday is big push of ocean air. And you can see the low clouds here west of the Cascades Sunday morning. That's much better. Humidity level goes down. It gets rid of the smoke. And it's only about 80 degrees or so Sunday afternoon. So I would say that's just about a perfect day to end the weekend. So your Portland forecast. No first alert weather tomorrow, but I do think it'll be smoky again. The clouds will come and go. A little more humid, but not as warm. 88 degrees for high, not much of any wind. Sunday is a much more refreshing day. Morning clouds, afternoon sun. Monday's just kind of partly cloudy, pleasant, low 80s. And then beyond that, boy, this says mid-September. It's not hot, it's not chilly, it's not really wet. There is a chance for a shower. The clouds come and go, there'll be some sunshine. And temperatures generally between 70 and 80 all of next work week. Nora, PC.